Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I'm Carol and I'm glad to have you here and I hope you will consider subscribing. So if you've been following me on my Facebook page, you know that we've been talking about Valentine's Day and I've been asking for requests for videos. I would like to do things that you guys are interested in seeing. And when I asked the question, I, of course, I got a million different responses of what people would like to see, but one of them was a main dish. And Valentine's Day falls on a Wednesday this year, which is in the middle of the week. So I wanted to do a main dish that conveyed love and um, also would be easy to do since it's in the middle of the week on a Wednesday. I know most people celebrate on the weekends, but it does fall on a Wednesday, so if you wanted to celebrate during the week, I wanted to bring you something that would be easy for you to do, but still be something kind of special and fun. So we are gonna be making lasagna soup. If you have never had lasagna soup, you are in for a treat. It is much easier to do than lasagna, but you have all those amazing flavors still in the dish. Um, it's still beautiful and it's rich and it's creamy, but it's a whole lot easier to make perfect for a weeknight holiday. And of course it's red, so it's perfect for Valentine's Day. You're gonna need the same ingredients that you need for typical lasagna. We're gonna use some ground beef, we're gonna use some um, Italian sausage, some Italian seasonings, of course. We're gonna use a chopped onion. We're gonna use some pasta sauce. I used my homemade uh, canned pasta sauce, or you can use commercial pasta sauce that you buy at the grocery store. If you prefer to not do that, you could use, and I talk about this later in the video, you could use a can of crushed tomatoes with whatever Italian seasonings you want. Um, you could also use some canned tomato sauce, however you wanna make your own sauce, but we need some pasta sauce in our lasagna soup. You're also gonna need some chicken stock, I should say stock of any kind. I use chicken, but you could use beef if you'd like. You could also use vegetable if that's what you prefer. Uh, this soup also lends itself well to adding veggies. So if you wanted to sneak some veggies in there, it's a perfect opportunity for you to get some veggies into your family. You can hide them in the soup a little. We are gonna need some lasagna noodles, of course. I use the traditional wavy edge noodles, um, but you can use whatever noodles that you prefer. Um, and you're just gonna break those into nice bite-sized pieces to put in your soup. And then for our filling, we're gonna be making a traditional filling that you would see in traditional lasagna, but instead of it being layered in with your noodles and your pasta sauce, that is gonna be a topping for our soup. It's so good. So to make that, you need some ricotta cheese. You can use whole milk, which is what I used. I use whole milk ricotta, or you could use low fats, entirely up to you. I think the whole milk ricotta um, melts into your soup a little bit better. You're gonna need some mozzarella cheese or whatever Italian cheese is that you put traditionally put in your lasagna would be totally fine here. You're gonna need some shredded Parmesan cheese and you're gonna need some fresh chopped parsley. Um, I also put a little bit of garlic powder in my soup topping, but that's entirely up to you. If you would like to add that, you can use any Italian seasonings you like. There's lots of different ways to change things up here uh, so you can make it your own, but we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay guys, in my pan, I started by browning off a half a pound of Italian sausage and a half a pound of ground beef. To that, I am going to add about one medium-sized sweet onion. And we're just gonna saute that until it, the onion is translucent and soft. Okay, once your onion has uh, softened and started to turn translucent, we are ready to start making our soup. Now at this point, you could drain off the extra fat if you wanted to. My meat is not very fatty, so I'm just gonna leave it in there. It's gonna add a little extra flavor. This is for a holiday anyway, so we're going to just leave it in there. So to that, I am going to add four cups of chicken stock. I like to use the better than bouillon um, reconstituted. So I've got four cups of that. And then we are going to add four cups of any pasta sauce you like. This is my homemade pasta sauce, but you could use a jar of your favorite uh, store-bought. If you do not want to use store-bought, you could always use a can of crushed tomatoes here with all of your own seasonings. You could um, 
use canned tomato sauce. You could use uh, canned tomatoes, uh, whatever appeals to you, but I'm going to use a jar of my homemade sauce. And then I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of this stuff, you guys, I love this. This is called Pizza and Pasta Magic. It's absolutely delicious. Um, if you don't have that on hand, you could do a combination of whatever Italian seasonings that you prefer. Um, or you could use a, just a regular Italian seasoning blend, whatever you like. But I'm gonna use about a tablespoon of this. We're gonna give that a stir and we're gonna let this cook with the lid on for about a half an hour. I just want all the flavors to marry and for it to get um, nice and happy. And while that is happening, we are gonna go ahead and make our filling, our lasagna filling that we are going to put on top of our lasagna soup. Hey guys, now we are going to make our topping or the lasagna filling for on top of our soup. So I'm gonna use about a cup of ricotta cheese and I am using um, whole milk ricotta. You could use low fat if you prefer, but I think the whole milk um, melts better into the soup. So we're gonna use about a cup to that, we are going to add about a cup of shredded mozzarella. I like using this one because it melts really well and it, it's really creamy in your soup, but you can certainly shred your own if you prefer. You could use smoked mozzarella if you wanna add some other flavor in there, but um, I really like this one with the cream cheese in there. So we have eight ounces of ricotta, about a cup of mozzarella, to that, we are going to add about a half a cup of shredded, freshly shredded Parmesan, and then about two tablespoons of fresh chopped parsley. I like the flat leaf parsley, but if you prefer the curly, that's fine too. And because I'm a little extra, I'm also going to add some garlic powder. About a half of a teaspoon to a teaspoon and then we're just gonna give that a nice stir. Hey guys, we have let our soup simmer for about 30 minutes. I did have the lid on. Uh, you can simmer it with the lid off if you prefer, but you're gonna have some evaporation if you do. So now for the fun part. I have eight, eight lasagna noodles here that I have broken into bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna add those to our soup. And we're going to cook them with the lid off of our soup until your noodles are your desired doneness. 10 to 15 minutes, whatever you prefer. Our um, noodles are also going to help to thicken our soup. So we're gonna let that go for another 10 to 15 minutes. And when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to plate it up. Guys, my soup is all done. I cooked it for about an additional 15 minutes or so. I like my pasta to be pretty done, as you can, and then I've let it sit for about 10 minutes. And you can tell as it has sat, it has um, absorbed some of our liquid and it's got nice and thick. It has some really nice body to it, and our noodles are nice and done. So now we are ready to plate it up. Okay, so we're going to scoop our soup into our bowl. Does not look amazing so good I promise you and so much easier than making lasagna and then we're going to take a nice dollop of our beautiful cheeses with our parsley it looks so pretty and we're going to dollop that on top maybe a little bit additional Parmesan cheese and there you have it. As the cheese melts into the soup, it is absolutely amazing. Um, the cheese gets all melty and it makes your soup nice and creamy and it is just super delicious. Perfect for Valentine's Day. So how easy was that, you guys? Super simple to do. And then once you add your ricotta topping onto your soup, you're gonna stir that in and see how it just makes your soup nice and creamy. Mm-mm. It is so delicious. Absolutely delicious. I hope you will give it a try. If you have any comments or questions for me, leave them for me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I will see you next time, and I hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. Mwah.